Welcome back. If you love music, you'll love an upcoming concert series that promises rhythmic energy and some incredible local musicians. Dorothy Fitch and Nikolai Robbins from the Civic Orchestra of Tucson are here to tell us more. Thank you so much to both of you for joining us Thank today. You. Thank you for inviting it's, us. It's going to be so exciting. So let's start with you. Uh, tell us a little bit about the Tucson Civic Orchestra. We've been around since 1975. We're starting our 42nd season. We're all volunteer. Um, so don't, we're not to be confused with the Tucson Symphony Orchestra. Yeah. We just we play free concerts all around the greater Tucson area, and we're happy to be playing some concerts coming right up. Well, certainly, you guys always always innovate with these concerts. The music is, is always beautiful. Tell us what we can expect uh, for the upcoming series. Well, as you said, lots of rhythmic energy mm -hmm. and drive because we're playing um, Hungarian folk dances and Romanian rhapsody and uh, uh, Hungarian dance and Beethoven's Symphony Number no. Seven, which you don't think of as being in that same kind of category, mm -hmm. but it's got it's the most rhythmic symphony of all of them, and um, a violin concerto, a movement that Nikolai will play more about him in just a second, and that's the movement he's playing is rather gypsy inspired, so it carries on that theme as well. Right, and you say it's it's a very intricate piece. Right? And I know oh, that yes. we have a picture uh, of some of the music, and, and you're going to sort of explain why it's so difficult. <laughs> sure. Um, on the left side, hopefully it'll show up here in a second, yeah. <laughs> on one side of the music, the left side, you see a horizontal line with lots and lots of little black notes. Mm -hmm. and that's Nikolai's line, and those are all wow. the notes he's playing. And notice that there's not a lot of notes on the rest of the, um, the page where right. the orchestra notes would be. But on the right side, we come in and play with him. This is sort of the, the cellist view of what we're playing because I'm playing one of the lines way down there, but mm -hmm. he's playing the solo line. How and impressive. You'll, you'll get to hear this on October 1st, this coming Sunday in Tucson and down in Sarita the following Sunday. Well, it's, it's certainly a tall order, but we have somebody who, who's well capable of handling it. You're only 17, but you've been really playing for a long time, right? Yeah. Um, my, I, I come from a family of four kids mm -hmm. and my mom started us all as toddlers on musical instruments. So when I was about three and a half, I started playing just this really tiny violin. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I've been playing almost, I think, 14 years now. I don't know. I can't so many years. Yeah, have to of do course. The math. Well, we were listening to you a little bit in the green room as yeah. we were practicing. It really was so impressive. I can't wait to hear oh, you. what you do on here. But in, in the last few seconds we have left, what does it mean to you to play with the Civic Orchestra? I mean, I'm just very grateful for the opportunity. Most kids my age don't get that opportunity to solo with an orchestra yeah. or even ever as a musician. Mm -hmm. And so I'm just really grateful for the Civic Orchestra for inviting me to play with them. Well, certainly you're going to do great. People are really looking forward to Thank it. You. Congratulations to both of you. It's going to be a great series of concerts. We're looking forward to hearing you play. I'm going to give them a little information, and then we look forward to your performance. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Thanks. Now, there are two upcoming free orchestra concerts this Sunday, starting at 3 p.m., and the Christ Church United Methodist, then next Saturday, October 8th, at the Sauerita District Auditorium. To learn more, please visit cotmusic.org or call 730-3371. And now here's a performance by Nikolai Robbins. <laughs> 